Councilmember Dumont? Here. Councilmember Golding? Here. Councilmember Jansen? Here. Councilmember Mesa? Here. Councilmember Nichols? Here. Here. Councilmember Stokes? Here. Mayor Hawking? Here. The purpose of the meeting today is to adopt a proposed millage rate for fiscal year 2023 and to adopt a tentative operating budget for fiscal year 2023. I have a statement to read before we get started. The budget for the city of Jacksonville Beach was prepared using the millage rate of 3.9947 mills. The rollback rate is 3.6328 mills. The proposed millage rate of 3.9947 mills is 9.96% more than the rollback rate. The second item to be discussed is the tentative operating budget. The tentative operating budget for fiscal year 2022-2023 is $223,454,407. Uh, we'll now open the public hearing on the proposed millage rate and tentative operating budget. A report from staff. Uh, good evening, Madam Mayor and members of the council. Uh, my name is AJ Soto. I'm the budget officer here for the city. Uh, for those folks who are not as intimately involved in the process as the majority of our audience members and you folks on the dais, I'd actually like to very quickly kind of run through the budget process here at the city and how we kind of arrived at this moment. Okay. So the city begins its budget process in earnest in January. We start reviewing and updating the cash flows for all funds across the city. Uh, in February, budget projections are completed. All forms and instructions that are to be disseminated to departments are prepared, and management finalizes the budget calendar with applicable deadlines for departments and their instructions. Departments, CIP submissions are due back uh, pretty much in late February, so that way we can work during the month of March to review and finalize their CIP submissions and to populate those into the very cash flow documents which we prepared in January. Uh, typically late March or early April, the operating budget kicks off now that the CIP has been finalized and we spend about two weeks working with departments <coughs> to finalize their submission so that way I can review them and we can prepare for the main meetings which departments have with the city administration, with finance staff here. And we pretty much spend the month of May looking at the numbers, tweaking the numbers, asking all my department directors a million questions. Are you sure you really need this? Why do you need this? Questions like that. In June, the property appraiser submits the initial estimates for ad valorem tax revenues. We begin finalizing uh, state shared revenues, things like communication services tax, local option tax tax projections, things like that. In July, the process that's driven by the Florida Department of Revenue kind of begins in earnest. Uh, we formally submit the budget to the city council during the month of July. We have the budget showcase, typically the last Friday in the month of July. And then we have a series of four workshops in the month of August. Uh, in the month of September, we have two special budget hearings, this being the first one. In between those hearings, there is an advertisement in a general, in a newspaper of general circulation as required by state statutes uh, to do your trim advertisements. And so we will be running two advertisements on the September 15th edition of the Beaches Leader next Thursday. You are required to run those ads between your first and your second hearings. Your second hearing is Monday the 19th at 5.30. I'm almost done, <coughs> I promise. October 1, the new fiscal year begins. A report is due to the State Office of Economic and Demographic Research. In late October, the adopted budget book is finalized, published, and the application is submitted to the GFOA for the Distinguished Budget Presentation Award, which we have won for over 20 years now. Uh, in the month of December, we sleep. <laughs> and then in the month of January, we begin again. And we do all of this while finance continues to watch the till of the city in the current fiscal year and work in partnership with all of our departments to help them meet their needs in the current fiscal year. And none of it's possible without the support of the administration and the good partnership that we enjoy with the city council. So, thank you. 
Thank you, great report. Um, this is a public hearing. Would anybody else like to speak on uh, the military or the operating budget? Seeing none, public hearing is closed. Uh, can we get a motion? I move that we adopt the proposed millage rate for operating purposes of $3.9947. Three, three Second. Just to clarify, that should be mills. Sorry, they left off the word there. Gotcha. Jiggles. But it's also a, a dollar sign. Yes. So, yes. Perfect. <laughs> Okay, we have a motion and a second for adopting the millage rate. Any discussion from council? Seeing none, Madam Clerk, roll call. Council Member Dumont? Yes. Council Member Golding? Yes. Council Member Jansen? Yes. Council Member Mesa? Yes. Council Member Nichols? Yes. Council Member Stokes? Yes. Mayor Hoffman? Yes. Motion carries. Item B. I move that we adopt a tentative operating budget for fiscal year 2022 2023 of Two hundred twenty-three million four hundred fifty-four thousand four hundred and seven dollars. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? I would just like to thank our finance department and um, AJ. I don't know if you're going to be sleeping because you're still going to have a relatively young child in the house in December. So good luck. Um, and thank you to the department heads and, and your leadership staff for. Um, putting together and well presenting your budget and your priorities for the coming year, especially in line with our new strategic plan. That was great to see. Um, this was a very unique budget with probably the highest increase in ad valorem that I've seen, um, but a corresponding increase in expenses and pressures on, on the uh, extent side of our budget. So um, you guys did a, a really great job putting that all together. Any other comments from council? Madam Clerk, roll call. Councilmember Golding? Yes. Councilmember Jansen? Yes. Councilmember Mesa? Yes. Councilmember Nichols? Yes. Councilmember Stokes? Yes. Councilmember Dumont? Yes. Mayor Hoffman? Yes. Motion carries. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>